My name is Daniel Lorenko. I'm a director of the uh, Canadian Portuguese uh, uh, Real Museum, and uh, I'm originally from Portugal. This museum is uh, uh, dedicated uh, primarily to the Portuguese community uh, to uh, bring awareness of the uh, Portuguese uh, heritage uh, throughout the world. Uh, in this particular case, uh, it's focused on the Portuguese uh, the Portuguese community in Ontario. It was started by Antonio Alves and uh, John Santos. Uh, they were very uh, uh, important in establishing a lot of initiatives within the Portuguese community to bring uh, out values that are not uh, kind of obvious to other people. And they were the most pivotal people uh, that I know in the Portuguese community to, to, to do not to make available not just the museum but so many other activities that uh, it's uh, almost impossible to, uh, to name it. But um, the Portuguese uh, museum, this museum, uh, is of real importance to me and all the Portuguese. Everyone that we bring over here is, is just elated with the idea that we can put so much uh, uh, important information and graphics available to them because uh, then they have so many uh, perspectives of life in Europe, life in Canada, and what, what was what in, let's say, in the 10th century, 11th century, 15th century, you never, they never had that exposure. And they've seen here and that uh, and there, but not, not in a, in a, as focused as over here. Young people are, are, are the ones that are the most instrumental in passing the message. And if they can learn the story uh, of the museum, then they, it triggers the idea that they can learn the story of the Portuguese people and uh, wh wh what they came, they came from so far to Canada, the, the Norway, Sweden, Africa, Brazil, in, the, in our particular case, we are interested in that interaction between the Portuguese uh, children that uh, had, uh, were fortunate enough <laughs> to be born in Canada or to be of young age and give them some leadership into the, uh, the Portuguese heritage linked with the Canadian heritage, and that is important. Here we want to force the we want to force the idea that not force but make it available uh, so that they they can appreciate better who we are and where we are and what we were and that's very important carriage to carry from the past into the future through our organization. Uh, in, in that again, I'm going to repeat because we want to present it to our. The youth, the Portuguese youth, we would like to uh, in, even uh, go into the, the school boards and the school programs and, and, and have special presentations through our museum so they can learn history through our museum. Youth means uh, growth uh, or the possibility of growth and uh, uh, the youth are the ones that need the most uh, in terms of um, education that enables them to learn their possi possibilities. Uh, they have to learn about, the, they have the opportunity to learn about themselves, and then they have the obligation to learn about their history. Uh, they learn about themselves when they fare well in school. If they don't fare well in school, it's going to be tough. Life can be very tough. And I can tell you that. I'm not the only one that says that. Learn while you're young and learn as much as you can because then the future is waiting for you. If it cannot be the other way around. Uh, uh, and uh, uh, culture, edu education and culture. And with culture comes the, the, the habits, the, uh, the history, the, the, the past, the efforts of people that was born before the youth of today. And that could be an example to trigger so many ideas, how to do things, maybe different ways of doing things, reflect on, on the, uh, on the uh, 
um, on the work and the efforts of other people that were here and uh, are giving you the opportunity to learn because the more you learn, the more uh, useful you can be to your community and to yourself.